on behalf of all the businessmen and women who um, w work to bring resources to our public schools, they send their greetings and thank you for becoming a well-educated, well-informed, and well-skilled workforce because that's what our partners care about. This grant came about as a collaboration and cooperative um, initiative through the Motorola Company. And what they did is they gave up to $60,000 to the Consortium for Florida Education Foundations. We, as, a, as, a, as your local foundation, belong to this consortium. And through them, we applied. There were 20 applications, 11 schools were chosen, and Mr. Burdick, your instructor's grant was chosen among the top five in the state. You are the only high school in Leon County who is doing this program, so you should be absolutely commended for your efforts. We are so proud to play a small part. What will happen is, it has already happened, is the money came through the consor the, our, our foundation and we wrote the check over to sale, and this is, I hope, part of what we were able to, um, to bring to you. And we hope that this is only the first step in many to bring more resources to you fine students who understand how important it is to be creative, to be innovative, to be resourceful and to be entrepreneurs, because it's my understanding that you actually have a really good business plan in place to, to make this happen. Good luck on your, um, your competition. Where is that competition? Orlando. Orlando, yeah, so you're hitting the road this weekend? March 8th. March 8th, so, they, so it has to be all assembled when you show up or you assemble it when you get there. I'm gonna let Jason talk about that, but without further ado, the superintendent couldn't be here this morning, so we have asked uh, the, the director, executive director of our secondary schools, Mr. Dr. Randy Pridgen, to come say a few words on his behalf. Uh, I don't know whether to wear my glasses yet or not, so let me know. <laughs> Cue me in on that. Uh, thank you so much, Sheila, for the introduction, and allow me to be here, Dave. And this is awesome. Uh, as a former teacher, science teacher, in this community and seeing the first version of what the, the, the uh, robot started last year <laughs> to where it is this year, it's just awesome. Uh, and my hat's off to sale and what you're doing here. One of the biggest thing I'd like to, to talk about too is the public-private partnerships that you see here. Anytime you get sponsors like this that step up to help you, I can assure you they're going to they're gonna be watching you and some of these very sponsors are going to be looking to hire you one day because these skills that you have learned through this will last you a lifetime. These are lifelong learnings and it's just awesome. Uh, I'm totally taken back by this. Uh, this, this. This is a combination of everything. <laughs> Welding, pieces that you find on the floor. You, I, it looks like you put all kinds of things together. So uh, Dave, you're doing an awesome job. And we also have a middle school that I think is going to get involved in this well with Ms. Bell. But I'll turn it over to Mr. Crandall now. What a great job, Dave, okay. you've done here with this program. Thank you very much. And I want to reiterate some of the things that Randy said, but we want to thank Motorola. Not only is this a, an investment in this particular project, but it really is an investment in the future. And the lessons that you all learned in putting this together, I think, are lessons that are lifelong lessons that you'll carry with you the rest of your lives. And what I'm hoping is that some of you will discover that science is something that you want to pursue uh, in your uh, careers. So, thank you again to Motorola, and I'd like to introduce uh, Shelly Bell, principal of Cobb Middle School. Hi. I'm really excited to be here today. Um, Cobb Middle School is the science and technology magnet school, and we're excited that Jason um, sought out Cobb Middle School to be in partnership with part of this grant and that Jason will be working with Tracy Haley, a teacher over at Cobb, and some of our 6th and 7th grade students on a project not quite at this level, <laughs> but getting them introduced um, to robotics through a Lego program. So we really appreciate that and we're hoping that we can instill that love of science in our kids at a very young age and hopefully by the time they get up to here to high school or to sail, um, they'll be part of your program. So we appreciate everything you've done and um, let Jason say a few words on what he's doing over here at SAIL. Um, well, first off, I want to thank my team. Um, this is how everything gets done. Um, they organize everything. They do all the fundraising, the grant writing, the robot building design, and everything. Um, the robot is not the main focus here. It's, it's all the work and effort that all these students have put in, all the learning, all the dedication to team up together, to work through things, all those challenges um, that make really everything happen. Um, our robot here is going to be playing basketball this year. It's going to be playing three on three, so we'll be matching up with some other teams, uh, picking balls, balls up off the ground, um, the backboard on the back, hopefully people will be passing balls to us, and we'll be laying them up in the baskets. Um, we'll be making shots from about 50 feet away, um, 
Some other things it's got to do, it's got to balance on a bridge. Um, it's got to be autonomous. It's got a camera on there to find the targets. Um, it's a really complicated venture to go through, and we only get six weeks to do this. Um, so the students have really put in a lot of time. Um, not only that, they put in also all of their class knowledge. Um, they're applying all their physics skills, all their math skills, um, all the gear calculations and electrical calculations and power calculations that they've had to go through to make it all work because you have to design ahead of time. Um, there, there is no fail, fall safe back method. I mean, you have to plan ahead, buy the materials and get there and make sure all your math works. It's been really great this year to have sponsors and money. Um, if, if you notice, our, our, our robot from last year was pieced together really from things off the ground, like he was saying. Um, this year, really go much more high tech, um, use much more high strength materials. And so that's due to many of our sponsors that are up there on the robot. Um, Shall we see so, it? Yeah, let's see it. Um, let's, let's get our drive it. team up and. kids the mentoring that they need and his heart is big and that's what we need to do is find those teachers and, and inspire them and help them with the funding these these robots are not cheap the kids are telling me they run between 15 and 30 thousand dollars just for the initial robot and they're competing against robots that robots that cost a hundred thousand dollars so it's that's why the foundation is here to help we want to make sure these kids, the brightest among our school populations, have the tools they need to become successful. And this is how you get kids involved too. You sit in classrooms all day behind a desk reading textbooks. Who wants to do that? These guys are up and moving. They're scavenging, they're building businesses, they're writing business plans, and they're learning how to run their own business. They're becoming super entrepreneurs. There's nothing better. No, we're just so pleased with these kids. I mean, I just wish we could take, I wish we could have our own robotics competition in every single cafetorium, cafeteria all over the district so that kids younger than these, high school kids, could understand how much fun science and engineering and math and technology really is. And by the way, most of these kids, I understand, are also involved in the performing arts program. So again, as the superintendent has said over and over again, you take these kids, they know how to have fun because they also do it you know, when they're not in science class. They know how to put math together, they know how to make things work, and they have fun doing it.